Hi, this is Citrina Atkins from Gertie's Agro Produce, and you're watching Farm Up Jamaica on Central Expression. So Farm Up Jamaica is here to help reduce the importation of foreign food into Jamaica, increase Jamaican exports, uh, put young people and farmers back to work in sustainable organic farming, and help to uh, reduce crime and poverty by creating opportunities for people who need them most. We call it putting idle hands to idle lands. Hi, I'm Citrina Atkins from Gertie's Agro Produce in Manchester. I'm a farmer, started in 2018, and I've been farming scotch bonnet peppers, sweet potatoes, yellow yam, among other crops. Um, the reason for choosing those specific crops is to basically kind of contribute to the country's food security. So crops that are heavily imported in the country, like Irish potatoes, I try to produce those to kind of offset that. And um, crops that are heavily exported, such as yellow yams, I also try to produce those as well to bring in foreign exchange in the country. So welcome to my farm and also I'm a part of the New Hall Producers um, Group and we are the beneficiary of a Food for the Poor project that um, provided us with a complete irrigation system as well as a water harvesting system. In 2020, I was the Prime Minister's National Youth Award in Agriculture. Basically, the, the Prime Minister's Award is to just highlight youth that are doing exceptional jobs in different areas and um, I was nominated by the Jamaica 4-H. I'm also a part of their network and um, I'm also a part of the Jamaica network of rural women producers. Um, it's just basically to advocate for more involvement, female involvement in agriculture and also youth involvement in agriculture. In 2021 I was the CARICOM Young Farmer of the Year where I was, um, you know, I went up against other young CARICOM farmers and I was victorious. Um, th that's just to show how, how passionate I am about farming and how passionate I am about youth involvement in farming to basically secure our country's food security and nutrition. Alright, so as a young lady, I know you don't do this by yourself. Tell us about um, some of the people that you have that helps you in your farm. My business partner, who is also my cousin, Roy Campbell, we started in 2018 and the name of our business is Gertie's Agro Produce, which was named after our late grandmother. Um, we are also a part of the, we are all a part of the New Hall Producers Association and what does is that all the farmers in the group, we try to assist each other on each other's farm. So we have a big team around us and um, we're basically even advocating for more persons in the community to get involved in farming so that we can cut labor costs because when you work on my farm and I work on your farm that is um, less money going into labor and basic especially now with the the rising cost of fertilizers and other inputs we have to try our best to keep costs low so that we can maximize on profits what advice do you have for ladies like you or young men who just want to get into farming so I always encourage young persons to, re to do your research first and foremost before getting involved in the agriculture sector and reach out to RADA, reach out to the Jamaica Forage because they are the arm of the government who is responsible for youth in agriculture and they have some really good programs that will assist you with startup um, and also business training to you know, basically ensure that you have a good foundation going into the agriculture sector. Also, if you can, you know, not just focus on primary production but look into agro-processing as well, that would be a really good thing because it would eliminate some of the challenges that we have when it comes to gluts in the market. You, whatever it is that you're producing, look at ways that you can turn those products into value-added goods and to offer, whether it be at wholesale or retail. Um, retail. It's, you went to UA and you do banking and finance. So, banking and finance versus farming. Why farming? When I did my research and realized the importance of the agriculture sector and the importance of farmers to our country's um, food security, 
I decided that this is something I definitely want to get involved in because this is giving not just um, giving back to my community but also giving back to my country at large and also inspiring more youth to get involved because we need youth in the agriculture sector if we're going to move our country forward. I just want to say um, a big thank you to Mr. Neil Curtis um, from the Farm Up Jamaica group for making this program possible and also um, for bringing organic agriculture to Jamaica in a way that we've never seen before to ensure that we have healthy foods on the market and also healthy foods going outside of the country to, to um, consumers. Um, thanks again and continue doing what you're doing and getting youth involved in organic production because it is the way forward for the future to secure our country's health and also our country's food security. This is Citrine Atkins from Gertie's Agroproduce and you're watching Farm Up Jamaica on Central Expression. So Farm Up Jamaica is here to help reduce the importation of foreign food into Jamaica, increase Jamaican exports, uh, put young people and farmers back to work in sustainable organic farming and help to uh, reduce crime and poverty by creating opportunities for people who need them most. We call it putting idle hands to idle lands.